every day when I go to my work, I go to a place where there's a lot of pain. And I'm sure you all know what pain is. Maybe you've bumped your head once or fallen off your bikes or maybe even given birth. Well, that's painful. But I'm talking about pain that goes on for days, for weeks, sometimes even months. I work in the burn center in Groningen, in the Martini Hospital. And that's where we're always looking into ways in which we can help people cope with their pain. And right now, we've started to use virtual reality to help people cope with pain. And I've brought one of those with me. It's where you put on goggles like these. Maybe you've seen them before. And there's a movie playing inside or a game. And once you put them on, you're taken out of the situation you were in. And it's really a wonderful effect. Wow. Oh, this is... I'm in space. You should really all try this once. And this is what it looks like when you use it in burn care. This is a 10-year-old boy who got severely burned when he wanted to help his mother in the kitchen. And his tummy and his legs, they were burnt, and he had to be admitted to our hospital. And right now, he's in one of the most painful situations you can be in, in our burn center. That's where they clean the wounds and put new bandages. But he's not actually in the room. He's playing Mining Mike. And that works brilliantly. What it does is quite interesting and quite simple as well. We human beings, we only have limited attention capacity. And what virtual reality does is it overloads this attention capacity, so there's only just a little left for pain, fear, or thoughts about the situation you are in. And actually, one of the first patients we used it with, she put it so beautifully. This was a 14-year-old girl. And um, one evening, she was sitting around the campfire with her friends, and it got all out of hand, and she got severe burns on her legs. Both legs were really burnt and she was admitted in Groningen, and she was in so much pain. She would literally scream. And she would not only scream when the nurses were taking care of the wounds, but she would start screaming as soon as they came in with the, well, the bandages. So it was actually fear combined with pain, everything taken together. And of course, we tried to help her, we gave, gave her medication, um, distraction, uh, played music, uh, breathing techniques, everything, but nothing really seemed to work. And then that was round about the time that we finally got the virtual reality into our burn center. And I asked her one day if she wanted to try, and she said, yeah, well, okay. So she put on the goggles, and she was playing Mining Mike, just like the little boy was. And she knew the game from home because she had played it on her iPad. And she was so into the game. She was, well, going over a high score. And the nurses took off the bandages and they were helping her and she was going on. So afterwards I asked her, how was that for you? And she said, well, it was really funny because I felt they were doing something, but I couldn't care less. And that was, that was just 
that we thought, wow, we have to go on with this. And then a few, well, a few months ago, some technical guys came up to us and they said, well, this is really cool what you're doing with the virtual reality and pain and things, but have you ever considered connecting your goggles to a 360 degrees camera? Because that way you can get people who are in the hospital visit their homes or their sports club or classroom. And that's when we thought, there's another kind of pain we can, well, um, we can compete with uh, virtual reality. And that's emotional pain. And right at that time, there was this guy from Romania. He was admitted to the burn center in Groningen, and his fiance was with him. But nevertheless, he felt so very homesick. So what we did for him was arrange a surprise dinner party with his family and friends in Romania, in their favorite restaurant, and he sitting in Groningen. They had a wonderful meal together, a little bit different from the hospital meal in Groningen and the nice meal in uh, Romania. But he felt so much better the weeks after that. And I can't prove it yet, but I can easily imagine that even his wounds would heal faster because of this positive experience. And of course now we want to move on so we've left the burn center and we are moving on to hospital to other places because there are all other sorts of places where people are in pain or in situations you would like to take them out. So right now we're using virtual reality in colonoscopies where people were used to get some medication to make them a little bit, a little bit or more relaxed. And now we're using virtual re reality there. And well, we want to go on further, maybe in physiotherapy or in dialysis. And why stop with virtual reality? Why not look in other technical options? So actually, this is a plea to all you tech girls and guys in the world to please go on developing these cool gadgets. And please don't forget to tell us about them, people who work in hospitals, because together we can ease the pain of so many patients, both physical and emotional pain, and with that we can really make a difference for them. Thank you. <laughs>